Hey guys, um, this is going to be a quick look at Andromeda 3. It's been out for quite a while and um, I never really got across to doing a review but I've had it on my phone um, soon after I did the review for um, Continuum V4. Um, so let's talk about the differences. Well the differences were that there was a new kernel and um, the choice of having uh, the themed orange was gone. So this is all you got, the stock uh, Armani um, Armani uh, Galaxy S feel, um, which is good, which is what I liked um, from before. If you remember my older review, it was um, of uh, the stock, uh, stock themed version. And um, so other than the kernel, there is no difference. There is, uh, you can feel that it's a bit smoother, uh, but that would be quite hard to tell because the other one was pretty smooth too. So it's not much of a difference. It's uh, the same old thing. Um, but um, what I did was uh, I, um, I added the I flashed the Onyx kernel in it, um, and it's getting pretty, um, pretty good uh, benchmarks, and it's a lot faster than the um, stock kernel. So, uh, um, there is not much to say except uh, that this is the same good, stable ROM. Oh, and the problem that I had before um, with there being roaming here. And I had to change the modem. Um, that was all gone because it came uh, out of the box with uh, the JK4 modem. So I didn't have any um, problems or complications. Everything works great. Um, any i9000 uh, kernel should work. The i9000 base kernel. Uh, so uh, that would be my quick look not much of a difference uh, and uh, yep I'll see you guys uh, with a new ROM review next time see ya